For your GCSE food, you will need to know about saturated fats, unsaturated fats that include monounsaturated and polyunsaturated, the functions of fat, main sources, dietary reference value for fats and also the effects of deficiency and excess of fat in the diet. Fats are an important part of a healthy diet. The functions of fats include being a source of energy for the body. To make body cells, fat is needed for the cell membrane, such as found in skin cells or muscle cells. It also helps to keep the body warm and protects vital organs such as the kidneys. Vitamins A, D, E and K are stored in fatty tissue in the body and also in the liver and they can remain for weeks, maybe even months, so the body can use it if needed. Fats also provide essential fatty acids that include omega-3 and 6. Fats are made up of fat molecules called triglycerides. They consist of glycerol and three fatty acids. Saturated fats tend to be solid at room temperature, such as butter, and unsaturated fats tend to be liquid at room temperature, such as olive oil. Types of unsaturated fats include monounsaturated and polyunsaturated. Saturated fat is mostly found in animal products. Sources include butter, lard, ghee, suet, but also non-animal products such as coconut oil and palm oil. Cakes and biscuits also have saturated fat as well as meat fat, sausages, bacon and cheese. Saturated fats contain fatty acids that have all their carbon atoms fully saturated with hydrogen atoms, hence they're called saturated fats. However, unsaturated fats do not. Unsaturated fat is made up of unsaturated fatty acids and they have fewer hydrogen atoms than saturated fatty acids because they have one or more double bonds between carbon atoms. Too much saturated fat in the diet can lead to heart disease and stroke, type 2 diabetes and also some cancers. The government recommends to eat less meat and also to choose lower fat dairy products. It's recommended that no more than 35% of your daily calories should come from all fats. Within that, saturated fats should make up no more than 11% of the daily calories. A diet high in saturated fat will raise cholesterol levels in the blood. Cholesterol is a waxy, fatty substance. Too much bad cholesterol, called LDL cholesterol, may lead to cholesterol plaques forming on artery walls. And if a lot of it forms, it can lead to blockage of an artery. Unsaturated fats generally come from plants. They include monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats. Excess fat in the diet can lead to weight being gained, as fat contains twice the amount of calories per gram than carbohydrates and proteins. Also, if there are high levels of saturated fats eaten over a period of time, this can lead to coronary heart disease. Deficiency of fat in the diet is rare in the UK. However, it can lead to deficiency of fat-soluble vitamins, vitamins A, D, E and K, and also organs will not be well protected and a person can become easily cold. The dietary reference value relates to what the average person should consume. So, for instance, not including very elderly or babies or people that are really ill. 
As mentioned, total fat should be around 35% of food energy, so the amount of calories you're taking in. And saturated fat, which is mostly from animals, should be no more than 11% of food energy.